Hello, and welcome to my Q&A slash cooking vlog thing, sort of. If you have no idea what you're watching, then I don't blame you, because I'm not sure what it is either. I think it's just a big mess, but let me try to explain. Basically, at the end of the last animation I did, I asked people what they think I should do as a sort of 100,000 subscriber special, and I had said I wanted to be more creative, and given the example of doing a cooking vlog. What some people didn't realize is that I had said that as a joke, like, not seriously. It was just an attempt at being funny. But then of course everyone said, yeah, do a cooking vlog. So here we are. The reason this isn't an actual vlog where I'm talking at the same time as I do the cooking is because the audio got screwed up because apparently I'm incapable of recording videos on my computer. So now I'm just gonna voice over it and answer some questions. How did you come up with your name? Well, this is actually probably the second most asked question, and it's kind of a long but really stupid story at the same time. It's so basically like two years ago when I'd first gotten an iFunny account, I was just randomly googling pictures of animal combinations for some reason, I don't know why, just like kangarooster and things like that, and I decided to look up sea rabbit, even though I wasn't sure if that was a thing. And it apparently is, because there's some dude that's made, like, taxidermy of sea rabbits to make them look sort of realistic. And I thought that was cool, so that's what I named my account, is the Sea Rabbit. And this was before I started making comics or anything like that. But one day I decided to make a hand-drawn comic, because I didn't have any sort of drawing tablet at the time. And I put it up, some people liked it, I made another, it sort of caught on, and, and I just kept the name the Sea Rabbit with me as my comics grew, and then I decided to start YouTube videos, and I just kept the name through that, so yeah. Alright, moving on. It's a dumb question, but how many what linguajes do you speak? First of all, no, I don't think that's a dumb question. I think that's a great question, worded exactly like that. I can actually speak all languages, but the only one I can speak fluently is English. I kind of suck at speaking the rest of them. Okay, a lifting question. How much can you bench? On a good day, I can bench at least 27. Who is your favorite comic artist? Okay, so I actually have a few. The webcomic artists that I like are The Pigeon Gazette, one called Rando Wiz, and sort of a lesser known one called Steve Lickman, which is really funny. I'd recommend checking all of them out. And my favorite newspaper comic is probably Pearls Before Swine which was in the Ohio newspaper when I lived there. I'm not sure what other newspapers it's in, but that's also really good. Do you have anything in common with Adolf Hitler? Well, actually, yes. Uh, we both watch PewDiePie. Okay, question. What college do you go to slash what are you studying? Sorry if you mentioned this before. I have not mentioned this before, and I go to Colorado State University, and I'm majoring in biochemistry. What's your favorite Pokemon? Okay, so I feel very passionately about this, but my favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur. I feel like he's super underrated in terms of the three original starters, because most people are like, oh, Charmander, he's the best. This Bulbasaur is just a stupid onion. But no, he's a good-looking green dinosaur. Venusaur's freaking awesome, and he's just, he's really good, okay? Trust me on this. What kind of guy were you in high school? Okay, so in high school, I was really, really lame, except for the second semester of my senior year which I was only sort of really lame. Question, what the heck is your relationship with James? Either you're being pals or poking fun at each other, I'm confused. Um, who's that? Where did you get that sweater? Oh, you mean this sweater that I'm wearing in the video? I got that at Old Navy. I never shopped there, but I had a gift card for Christmas or something like that, and I'm sort of obsessed with hooded clothing. Why the jacket? Because I had a gift card. Is it based on how you look? No. If so, can you show us how you look? No. Okay, now this was actually a really good question. They asked, why does your paint tool sigh look different? My paint tool sigh looks different because for some reason, the scaling of text and things like that on the original paint tool sigh stopped working correctly with my higher resolution display on my monitor, basically anything larger than 1920 by 1080, and now all the text and things are super small and pretty much unusable, so I emailed them about it, and they didn't know what was wrong, so they just said, hey, use this version, it's called Psy 2 it's pretty much a free upgrade if you've already bought the original, and so that's what I use now. I wouldn't say it's a huge upgrade compared to the original Psy at all, it's just, it's kind of different, it's got some features that the original doesn't have, and I guess if you have the original, you can upgrade if you want to, 
on the website. There's just a link somewhere on there, and it's all free if you've already bought it. So yeah, what's your name? Um, I've said it before in videos, but my name's Thomas. You call me Calvin for short. How big are your biceps? They're about 12. What is the favorite YouTube video that you've done? Well, I actually hate all of my videos, but I'm not going to miss an opportunity to plug one of them, so this one's my favorite. You should check it out. Thanks. If you needed to give up either the word Coolio or Cool Beans, which would you pick? Well, that's actually a pretty easy one because I use the word Coolio on a daily basis, so I'd give up Cool Beans. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not because girls are icky and I don't want to get cooties. Do you ever draw things other than your comics and animations? Yes, I do, but just very rarely because I don't have very much time for that. I wish I had more time, but between classes and, like, comics and animations I don't really but here's some of the real stuff that I've done and if you want to know when I do make more real art I do have a deviant art which I usually put those things on even though it's very rare you can I guess follow me or whatever the heck it's called on that I don't really use it that much I'll put a link in the description my very serious question for the Q&A are you dead only on the inside would you dance salsa with the odd ones out Who's that? Do your classmates know about your YouTube channel? Well, I've got a lot of classmates, like thousands of them, because I'm in college, but if you're asking if just some of the people from my university know, then yeah. But it's not because I told them. I usually never tell people face to face. It's usually my brother that tells people because he brags about me for some reason. I don't know why I don't tell people, it's just something I don't do because, I mean, it just never comes up in conversation. When are you supposed to say, like, yeah, I make, I make comics and I've got a YouTube channel, like, there's just never a good time for that, you know what I'm saying? How much thick have you gained since your last video in total? Somewhere around 78, but I'm just ballparking here. Q&A question, do you prefer to drink your water from a glass or from a bottle? Well, that depends on what kind of bottle we're talking about here, because if it's one of the cheap plastic disposable ones, then nah, screw that, that's bad for the environment. But if it's like a Camelback or a Nalgene, yeah, I use those all the time, those are great. And I guess glasses are cool too, but I don't, I don't really use those because I'm in a dorm. I don't have that kind of luxury. Thanks for the question, Alexander Drinks Water. What's the funniest thing you have ever seen? Um, this video, actually, you should check it out. Any tips for a fellow YouTube animator? Okay, so say you've got like a bunch of eggs, but you don't know which ones are good. What you can do is just throw them all in a bowl of water, and then the ones that float, those are bad. You shouldn't eat those. I know this is hard work what you do, but can you please upload more? I just love your videos so much that I don't care what you talk about. Just be you. Okay, first of all, that's really sweet. Thank you. And, um... Believe me, I upload as much as I can, but there's this stupid thing called college that keeps getting in the way. Thanks for your patience. What's your weirdest pet peeve? Also, did it take you long to find this comment? My weirdest pet peeve is when somebody asks a question and then they follow it up with another question that's completely unrelated to the first one. I don't know, it's just, it's what makes me tick. Which drawing tablet do you use? Um, I use a Wacom Cintiq Companion 2, which is kind of a mouthful, but it basically just means really expensive drawing tablet, and I wouldn't recommend it if you're just getting started with digital art, unless you've got that kind of money to throw around, then go ahead, I guess you do you. Q&A question. When thinking of comic ideas, what drugs do you take to get your ideas? Well, considering this is Colorado, I use a lot of trail mix. It's, a, it's pretty crazy stuff. Drugs are bad for you. Why is your voice so good? Personally, I'd rather listen to Nails on a Chalkboard than hear myself talk, but I'm flattered that you like my voice. Thank you. I don't know what to ask, so what should I ask? Ask me about my feminist agenda. Okay, so now we're getting into the Twitter comments, and what I had said about people asking me stuff on Twitter is that you should do that if you think that you're too good for the YouTube comment section. So basically all these people are pricks. I'm admittedly too good for YouTube comments. So, what cartoons did you grow up watching slash enjoying most? I watched a ton of Spongebob and Tom and Jerry and pretty much whatever was on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. And also a ton of Pokemon until I realized that Ash was just a complete idiot. He's honestly just 
a terrible Pokemon trainer. Why would you base a whole series off of somebody like that? How would you cope with a breakup? No ice cream. From experience, I can tell you that I just listen to a lot of Drake music. I'm not sure why. Drake just seems like the kind of guy you would want to go to if you're having relationship problems. What is the laziest thing you've ever witnessed? Okay, so this one's kind of a funny one because this is my freshman roommate asking this. And he already knows what I'm going to say, so... This one's for you, Dylan. The laziest thing I've ever witnessed is when my freshman roommate threw away a fork instead of washing it because he was too lazy to get out of his chair. I hope you're happy. What made you want to start drawing slash making comics? Also, do you have any tips for starting artists? Okay, so as a kid, I made a ton of comics that were just for the enjoyment of, like, the two friends I had and myself. Like, I didn't put them on the internet. And if you're just starting making comics, then I just want to tell you that you don't have to put them on the internet. You might be glad that you didn't later on. And I also read a ton of comics, like whatever was in the newspaper, a bunch of Garfield, some manga, things like that. So that's pretty much what made me want to start drawing comics. And I guess my advice for you is that, say you've got like a bunch of eggs and you're not sure which ones are still good to eat. What you can do is just throw them all in a bowl of water and the ones that float, those are bad, you shouldn't eat those. Also, you should practice. Can't you make comics? Why don't you just post them on at Tapas app, that's Tapastic, and Lion Webtoon. They're both excellent comic platforms. I actually do post them on Tapastic, even though I've got an abysmally small following, so you can check them out there if you want. It's just the sea rabbit, you know, the usual. And I'm not sure what Lion Webtoon is, so that's that's so cool, I guess. Alright, do you feel the YouTube space is being taken over by vlog animators? The odd ones out, Domics, etc. And if so, are you happy? Well, I've never thought of it as really vlog animating, but I guess, I guess that works, because you're sort of telling stories, I don't know. But I don't think it's being taken over at all, just because animation is something that requires a lot of patience, and you gotta like drawing, which... The overall majority of YouTubers don't like to do. It's not like gaming where just anybody can do it. So yeah, I don't think it's going to be taking over YouTube anytime soon. But it's definitely becoming more popular, like just becoming a thing to just tell stories and animate them, which I think is cool. I mean, it's definitely better than just being a story time channel where you sit there and make up stories about yourself. It at least takes some talent to animate it. And if so, are you happy? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Thanks for asking, dude. How do you want to die? I'm just curious. Um, I want to die right now. And last question. Can you delete your channel? Anything for my subscribers. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like before this video is completely removed when I delete my channel. Thanks again for 100,000 subscribers or wherever we are now. I'm pretty sure it's way past that because I've been super busy. Couldn't get a video like this out yet. And anyway, thanks. Bye. Oh yeah, and here's some pictures of me.